We have sat it all the day. This whoop section is just nasty. <laughs> Everything was going as planned, and now Tomac sees his first sign of adversity here in the main event. Main event's been oh, he back down again. again. Oh, man. Lands on top of his head. His visor is broken off. Yeah. Going wide, and watch. He gets out of the main line. Gets a little kick there, and wow, does he go down hard. He plows right into the bike. Side of the bike there as he got behind it as it went down. And he was definitely grabbing that left knee. Uh, he's got a bunch of dirt on his shoulder. Like you see, his visor's broken there. And he plowed right into the up face of a whoop here and had just an abrupt stop. What an amazing turn of oh. David Philemon now slows him down. Takes him high. His own teammate takes him high. Philemon's like, I'm in fourth place. I'm getting lapped. Chad Reed brings it down to the wolf. Ricky's got a great drive. Oh, and Carmichael's Carmichael down. Away. Carmichael throws it down, pushing too hard as Ricky's able to remount his bike and come on down. And unbelievable, he has not turned it around yet. He is still in second. I, I think right now, Cameron, he is thinking, what did I just do? But he had such a big lead on everyone else, and Chad was just coming through. I talked to Ricky earlier, Cameron. He said the most important thing is I protect my championship. Right now, he just opened the door big time. The worst thing I think he could have done was give Chad Reed a breath of life. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Los Angeles in Dodger Stadium. There's James Stewart getting ready for some heat racing. But earlier today, Jeff, he had a big moment. The riders had an abbreviated practice, and Stewart was on fire, and he makes this huge mistake. See him just takes this massive whip around. One more look at it. And the fact that he landed on that tough block, he got really lucky that he is on the gate here tonight. But, boy, you can see how it really snapped his neck and sent him flying. Martin's really giving him a run. Well, look early at points it. leader, early race winner this season. Martin might have something here. Coming inside, right there. Martin holds him off. Crowd starts to get into it here in Indianapolis. Oh, over the bars goes Martin. Davalos on the last lap. Oh, he just goes over the bars. He he really wasn't trying to miss that uh, lap Sizemore. rider, I don't believe. Yeah, Sizemore down there. He, he saw the race official wow. doing everything he could to protect Sizemore. And watch this. And I don't think we can underline this enough to give you an idea of just how fast he's riding. Remember. And, and you, Travis Pastrana is running right with him. We right saw it two it. years ago. Did the same thing. He beat Kevin Windham. To take it. Here comes the whoop section. You see down the right side. Trav oh, Tra oh, just gets punished by the motorcycle. Travis just giving it his all. Getting up a little woozy. Just dropped the front end. He knew that it was all or nothing. Uh, and he just went for it, trying to make the pass in Tedesco. And down Pastrana goes. And he's starting to blitz across the top, but he misses one just right there. Drops the front end and gets over the front of the motorcycle. He's such a big rider. When his weight transfers, it so accelerates so much more. The gravitation, the, the leverage, and man, he goes down that 199. <laughs> Pastrana favoring that right arm, it looks like, Denny. Yeah, he seems to be favoring it, very similar to what we saw Chad opening tonight. It just shows how intense the sport is. The track is so, a, a, a big mistake for Travis, and down he goes. Reed, Reed closes in. Wow, this is Nick good, Wade right in front of him, here comes oh. Reed, down he goes. Oh. oh, Reed was giving it everything he had, and he goes down hard. Lapper, Chad Reed is down hard on this final lap. Man went ahead of Steve. Oh, he went up his tire. He got into the back of Ken Roxon there, and you notice right on the up face of this jump, he plowed his right shoulder in. Uh, watch right here, watch him hit the ground uh, and stop man. immediately. Dungy does everything he can. TJ Albright is solidly in in fourth, Josh Osby. Got a little off camber right there before the whoops. It's Mason Tuff. Oh, Woodcock! Oh. Woodcock gets a little bit sideways. What I was going to tell you is they come off that little off camber turn before the whoops, and they don't have a straight run into the whoops. That makes it very, very difficult. 
can see they're still turning as they're trying to get into the whoops. Everything's good. The bike starts to kick sideways just a little bit. Man, he lands right on this right side of his hip. Hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, the Alpine Stars medical unit are taking good care of him, Rick. Yeah, he comes out of the corner right there. Everything's good, and then just the back end goes sideways, and at that point, he was a passenger. He tried to hold on to it, and then just one swift kick to the right, and it ejected him off the bike. And Stewart just goes down on the whoops off camera. He drops the front end. There he is. He was blitzing down the middle through the rut. He drops the fold the front end, and down he goes and opens up the lead for Chad Reed. Oh, my goodness. Just what I thought would not happen. I thought James would be able to settle into his pace. He knows it was a dumb move. Probably the toughest portion of the track for him, the whoops. The same whoops we saw him go down in in practice. We saw right off the bat in practice having a tough time with that. I was out front, I was gone. I went down hard in the whoops, you know, I kind of tweaked my ankle, but you know, it, was my, it was my first race back, a podium, and uh, I had a good time tonight. Plus, this whoop section that our two leaders are getting ready to enter is brutal. It's easier than in practice, but it is pretty tough for these 250s to go through there. So there you go. Oh, Jordan, hang on! And it ain't another one. Oh, oh man. This whoop section here today, look at that. Oh. Huck a buck over the bars and the bike absolutely slams him. Watch and how he gets, the rear wheel kicks him up and then watch, he misses this one right there. The front wheel goes down in, no bueno. Man, there is just oh. never a soft landing and in Savachi that section. got lucky oh, that man, the bike did didn't hit him. Yeah. We hope he's all right. Mm. The finish of that pass where they came together a little bit right there and Wyndham just backed off. Oh, oh. Wyndham goes by in the whoop section. Carmichael making a mistake there. Oh, it's Ricky Carmichael hitting the, the dust in the whoops he here in Las Vegas. Tangled with a lapper getting through there. It's really tough to maintain a straight line through there. But he has run an absolute beautiful third place uh, run. Welcome back to the 125 shootout here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Carmichael goes head over heels. And it's Pingree in second place. And Carmichael looks like he might be hurt. He went down really hard, and now the riders Decker. are trying to miss him. Decker going He's okay. By. That's a good sign. Quite sure that he's in Las Vegas right now. Take another look. Looks like to me he let his front wheel get down in one of those deep holes, started a little bit of a nosedive, and he was riding it out for a couple. Then his front wheel ducked down another one, and that was it. He's trying to get back on the track. Look at that. Look at his back where the... Looks, looks like, like a tire uh, rubber. Yeah, the tire may have smeared a... The printing on his jersey, he's not happy. Let's Ricky look at Carmichael. Carmichael. He's in pain, I think. Psychologically, maybe physically. Well, he knows that... He has uh, strong will. He has so much fire to win.